Tailwind's defaults are incredibly powerful, and anything you want to adjust can be easily adjusted in the Tailwind config file. You can customize it to your own needs. Now, I kind of hesitate to share this video because I think that's the general route you should always take for the most part, but every now and then you may want to customize classes on the fly, and that's what I want to show you in this video. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. The way I've got this project set up here, I've got these different card components here that are all just these LIs right here. So if I were to customize this, obviously I'd come in here and I could set like background slate, I don't know, 200 on one of these. I think that's the background. How about 400? There you go, you can see it, padding, six. Okay, so normal tail end stuff. Let's say though that I wanted to have some kind of custom box shadow here. Well, there are a couple different ways you can do this. You can come over to the Tailwind config file and you can extend the defaults for Tailwind. Now, this is normally how you should do things. And just as a note here, if you come in here inside the theme and directly write like shadow right here, box shadow, and then do it, it will actually override all the styles inside of Tailwind with just whatever you have. So just so you know, that's how you would do that. So generally, you're going to want to do this inside the extent. So let's say I came in here and I had something like custom and I wanted to set this to, I don't know, like one pixel, two pixel, and then let's say I said something like blue. Now, hopefully I wouldn't do that, but there you go. I can come in here now and just say shadow custom. And now you can see I actually get this little drop shadow. It's blue, it's one pixels down, two pixels over. Now that's generally how you should do this. So that way you can use this anywhere and you kind of know where everything is defined. You can, however, do what I just mentioned in the intro, which is something dangerous. And that is you can come in here and add your own custom one directly in line. Now you may be familiar with these arbitrary properties, but you can see here that all I have to do is type one pixel like this, except I can't have a space inside of a class name, so I have to do an underscore. So anytime you're doing custom classes here, you want to do it just like that. And now you can see that the same exact thing is applied, but now it's being applied inline directly here. Now, this is basically like writing an inline style. And to update this, you have to find every place this is defined. So basically never do this unless it's only ever going to be on one section. And again, I feel a little hesitant to even share this because I think it could be very, very easily abused. But you know that you can actually do additional things here. So let's say I came in here and for the body right here, this paragraph tag, there's some updated CSS that you may not have available to you. So of course you can go and write a custom CSS class in like a CSS file and just reference that inside of Tailwind. But you can also just in brackets here, write that directly as you would. So for instance, let's say I had text wrap of balance. This is a new property. I can now add this. You can see how it automatically balances this. To my knowledge, this is not yet in Tailwind, but just by adding it just like this, you can very quickly add essentially these inline styles. And if I hover it, the VS Code IntelliSense extension tells me that's exactly what's going on here. So just a couple of ways to kind of do these inline styles. Again, I really hesitate to share this because I think it can be very easily abused, but it's also really, really nice when you need it just in little one-off scenarios. So while you might be familiar with using Tailwind and customizing it directly in line here, that little space trick for anything that has spaces by using underscores instead, or wrapping an entire CSS property in here is something that is fairly new to me and I thought I might share it here. All right, very short one today, but I hope that was a help. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.